these are some of my, actually, most of the people in this church are my family members on my dad's side of the family. And I was watching a live stream of this yesterday when Jen contacted me. Um, I'll talk about this later on in the podcast. And no, I'm not going to, well, put it this way. I could send you to the, the link to this, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the introduction to the podcast. JC contacted me yesterday and I was absolutely delighted. It was only a few days ago that I was actually re-listening to the voice message that she'd sent me. And I really enjoy listening to that. And um, I'm just so delighted that she contacted me and I'm just so delighted that she's back. And I think Jen is so talented. There's so many things that she can do, so much content that she can put up that's going to be interesting for people. She has a vibrant, vivacious personality. She's loving, she's kind, she's caring, she's fun. And I'll talk about that uh, more as this podcast goes on. I just want to let people know that what I say on my channel is what I truly believe. I don't say anything uh, for dramatic effect, for subs and views or anything like that. Now, views are nice, but... Um, if someone told me that I had to talk about the same topic every single time I uploaded on, on YouTube, if I had to talk about exactly the same topic um, and I would be guaranteed to get a million views, I wouldn't do it. So, you know, if I have beef with somebody, for example, if I have beef with another creator, that is the real beef. It's not dra drama. It's not pretend. It's not acting. If I say somebody needs to get a job focus on their wife and children and get a job. <laughs> I really mean it. I'm not um, just saying it for dramatic effect. Um, have you ever met somebody who you have a fallout with them and they pretend that nothing ever happened? They pretend that they've never had beef with you or never had a fallout with you. I've met a couple of people like that. I had a friend once in a uh, high school, we call it high school in America. And we had a falling out. And she she rings me up months later wishing me happy birthday. Not on the right day, by the way. She knew my birthday was in June, not July. And pretending that we never had a fallout, that nothing ever happened. You know, it was just like she was catching up. And, you know, nothing, nothing happened between us in terms of any kind of beef. There are some people like that. They are, they'll pretend that they've never had beef with you to rule you back into their orbit. It's one of their tactics to get you to, you know, to get you back. Um, any creator that I've had beef with has been real. It's been real beef. And uh, I, I certainly don't go looking for it. But, you know, I'm a nice person and I'm an empath and I'll always be an empath and I'm a caring and a loving person. But... I will defend myself and I will speak up for myself because that's the type of person I am. I'm loving, I'm caring, I'm empathic, but there's also another side. There are creators that I've been associated with on this platform um, that feeding their ego is their main priority or getting some kind of fuel, constantly hinting, you know, here's my cash app and my PayPal, you know, if that's what you're about, then forget it. Don't come looking for me. <laughs> you know, there's some people, and I'm going to do some episodes, you know, as later in the year. There was one episode that I was supposed to do last year that I didn't get around to, but I will. I will do it this year. And there's, there's going to be some episodes I'm going to do on hoovering and how people try to, you know, reel you back into their orbit. But, you know, there's some creators that they're just here on YouTube to get fuel, uh, supply, um, whether that be attention, money, or getting their ego fed. Some, some of which I've been associated with, at least one of which I've been associated with. And I never have, I'm not looking back. Just move it along. Um, but I'm going to talk about Martin Dehan because I've never been associated with him and never will be. Um, but it, it's really, I find it really weird when he talks about, you know, here's this thing he's saying that AD has been served for the upcoming trial. And this was, he wrote this last year, 
uh, long before Christmas and there's still nothing, you know, we still heard, heard nothing about a case. And, you know, he's talking about how he's been talking to the lawyers, you know, Martin D. had, he, he thinks that he's so special, special and so privileged that he's been talking to Frankie's lawyers. And, you know, there's nothing happening with that whatsoever. There, there's no case. But, um, you know, Martin likes to think that he's privy, that he's special. He likes to align himself with the family um, because he gets some kind of fuel or supply out of that. And uh, apparently me, Bam, Genetic Code, Salty, we were all wrong for thinking that there's not going to be a case. <laughs> but it's it's become glaringly obvious that we're actually completely right. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. So yesterday I was watching a live stream of my grandfather's celebration of life ceremony. I'll call it that to make this more advertiser friendly. Um, it was so strange. And to see people that I hadn't seen for years um, was very, very, you know, there's people in my family that I just didn't recognize because I haven't seen them for so long. And um, then I saw photographs of all of us, you know, and I saw photographs of my grandmother, Daphne. My grandmother, I probably love her more than anybody in my family. Like, in terms of love, I think I love my grandmother more than anyone. She's, you know, passed on, but, you know, I loved her dearly. And it was just so strange to see cousins and aunts and, you know, people that I hadn't seen in years. And sometimes I just didn't recognise who they were. And, you know, my family come from a little village or my dad's side of the family come from a little village in Jamaica. And, you know, to be live streaming from there just felt so surreal. But anyway, Jenny's back, JC is back, and it's really interesting because up to just a few days ago I was thinking about her and I was wondering whether to contact her and I was thinking you know what I believe she's going to come back and I'm going to give her the space that she needs because I do believe that giving people space and time to regroup and rethink is very important so I gave her space but I was really hoping that she would come back and actually somebody wrote some something underneath the video that I'd made about her, the tribute video. And it wasn't long after I'd started to correspond with this person that Jen reappeared. And I'm so happy she's back because I missed her. I missed her so much. Jen is somebody who I love and respect. And I think she's has a tremendous talent. And I think she was completely wasting her time on AD content. 